This is Twit. The Note 8 doesn't just change how you interact with what's on your phone, but with your phone itself. And to tell you more, please welcome my colleague, John Wong. Yeah, no mention of Bixby yet. Yeah. Um, that's interesting, although that isn't necessarily a differentiator of this phone. So, of course, they're going to focus Thanks, on the features Suzanne. that are very different about I'm this. I'm thrilled to be here. But I'll be surprised because to find out how much time they actually do devote things. to Bixby. Bixby? Oh. Samsung DeX. With the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, we launched Bixby. A smarter well, way to use your phone. <laughs> a little lag. Yeah, I know. Every year. Oh, they did launch Bixby. They just didn't launch Bixby Voice. Tens of thousands of features and functions. Oh, he's like he's standing on the bicycle. At Samsung, you know our job is to bring you Do those Do not use Bixby while you're on a bicycle, and please. And make it easy <laughs> just to use it to their please. full potential. Little, little public service announcement. Bixby completely changes your Did you see the guy in China who was watching, looking at his phone and bicycle into control, a sinkhole? No. Oh, yeah. home that's, screen, that's, that's what that guy looked and like. And intelligent reminders. <laughs> it learns and adapts to the way you use your device. Not the other way around. For instance, with Bixby Voice, you can speak to your phone naturally, using the words and phrases you use every day. <sighs> Today, Bixby Voice is available for English speakers in more than 200 markets around the world. They just did that it's uh, learning and yesterday, I believe. Every day. They opened yeah. it up to, well, now available 200 there are countries. endless ways more, to more personalize your But in English. Experience. I th they didn't add no, more languages. Uh, in U.S. English Simple and Korean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No more languages, just English and Korean. Take quick commands. With quick commands, you can program Bixby's the Bixby not a button replacement for, for as you'll see here, for Google Assistant. It's really to more to interact language. with the phone and the apps on the phone. Yeah, it ties into functions of, of apps, which, multiple actions at I, I mean, I think for this kind of it's category of things, cool. you want that to be included. That so that's definitely a very handy feature. But right. when you've got so, two of these different things acting like separate of, of each other on the same device, it becomes a little a confusing, I think. Food photos. And for me, this involves a lot of steps. So that's why it's I set so up hard my taking own food command photos. with the custom phrase, <laughs> food photo. Oh, Now custom instead phrases. of having to do all these steps manually, ah, a little automation. it does them for me. Okay. So let me show you. I don't think that's in the current iteration. I can press the, the Bixby button iteration. and say, food photo. Very carefully. <laughs> Bixby automatically launches the camera. Okay, see? Sets it to food mode. Okay, now this is useful. Snaps the pick. Not only does it do that, it opens my gallery. We hope. And moves my there pizza slice to my foodie album. So I'm, I think yeah. that's a new feature of Bixby, this yeah, ability to have pre-programmed uh, phrases, which is a, a really great idea. That way I can actually move the actual pizza slice in my mouth. And you can customize your own command the way you like. For example, if I wanted to get artistic, I could have Bixby take all my food photos in black and white. It found a now, picture of food. after all that pizza, getting a little bit tired, I think it's time for Not bed. Not quite the same thing. Well, Not even my picture. I mapped my picture. entire nighttime routine to Somebody a single else's phrase. Somebody else's picture of food. So now, with a simple press of the Bixby button, I can just say, good night. Good night. <laughs> Bixby automatically turns it to do not disturb mode, sets my usual 6 a.m. alarm. That's nice. I'd like to know more about this. And uh, it turns on the blue light I, filter. I like presume this will come to, uh, yeah, like macros. I presume really this will cool. come to the S8 as well. With quick commands, Bixby's giving you an entirely new way to personalize your mobile experience. I'm not sure how. There's no, there's no Bixby you app. Your phone you can't the like way launch a Bixby app like. to set this stuff up. Bixby so. is constantly learning new capabilities. Well, when you tap the Bixby We're button, is so there any proud sort of a setting? so proud come and setting so excited for where it's going. And... We have great new apps coming on Wait board. Wait for the 10 all seconds the that it takes to launch Bixby, though. Oh, Thanks I'm at Bixby one level one. Oh. You'll be able to, to use Bixby. <laughs> need I need to boost those, that experience. Beef up my Bixby. Music yeah. later this year. Right. Your Bixby experience. I don't know if that's a thing, but it should be. And we'll be sharing more exciting my news in October during our developers conference. Bixby changes the way we interact with our phones. But the Note 8 also redefines what our phones can be, and, and how we use them in our daily lives. So, 
It's, it's making Let's me feel guilty that I haven't used my phone. March, I told you, you aren't that using Bixby I'm enough. Taking, I, I, I feel bad. Full disclosure. <laughs> well, you I'm know, a little upset. Uh, today's yeah, a new day, score Leo. My, they score it's my Bixby cool. activity. Yeah, they, they do. They only have five conversations. Sending it to a zero great, zero notes, teach me, zero suggestions. I'm not earning with any decks, Bixby points. Game of five. As an yeah. incentive to get you to use Bixby. Your living room to your office. Game of five, the experience. Carry your work and personal life in your pocket, where you can cool. start to edit a presentation or play a game on the subway, then finish them on a big screen. And we've been working around the clock to make Dex even better. Yeah, I have my uh, Optimizing Dex the most still. useful mobile apps. <laughs> Use it all the time. I used it once. <laughs> Take one of the Mike most Bixby popular eats. mobile games, Vainglory. With Game Launcher on Dex, you can put the graphics in a full screen, immersive mode, and destroy your enemies with a mouse and keyboard. This is but, that little hockey course, puck that you even though yeah, a lot of us like to play in, games and, you to connect and it to relax, a large screen, still have to get stuff mouse. done. But it moves your phone so into like more of a desktop mode. Of exciting yeah. partnerships that will change the way you Curious work to know how much and that, play. How successful that's been for Samsung so far, but I suppose it's early days. So the, the other more day, devices they release that support it, the more right. potential people have to show these partner apps in a real life story. And one of them said to me, John, you are that story. See, I have decks set up at home and at the office, and I'm definitely a bit spoiled. My daily commute involves a 20-minute stroll down New York's famous High Line to the Samsung office. So this is what I travel with. Yeah, see, that's the idea is you don't bring a no computer laptop, with you, just your phone. No bulky bag. But you have to Let's buy say I'm on the High Line, two and I need to talk to keyboards, Suzanne about two mice, our Note 8 two screens presentation. and two dexes. Mm-hmm. We've Dex partnered with Zoom is, to make right video conferencing bucks. completely right, seamless. Right. I guess so it's I can cheaper just than open one up expensive Zoom app laptop and start the meeting with Suzanne. And I love this flexibility where I can be doing this while I'm strolling down the High Line. Oh, there she is. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, John. Hey, I'm just actually getting back to my uh, desk here. So let me just dock into the deck station. Show the screen, show the screen. What's great is because I started that meeting while I was walking down the High Line on my phone. When I'm back at my decks, all I have to do is, wait is open up the app. For it to sync. And the video conference <laughs> is still connected. That's kind of cool. So continue. Pretty cool. Didn't off. have to rejoin, reconnect. So Suzanne, I think I owe you that updated uh, photo of the Note 8, but I, I'd like your help with that. All right, let's do it. All right, so let me just share you my screen so you can see what's going on. Oh, wow. That's so cool. I can see your screen and me on your screen. Nice. So I'll pull up Adobe Lightroom. This is, of Go to the, the photo Android that we need to right. edit here. Which well, Adobe's right. making more and more looking capable. photo, but sure. I think it's a bit dark. Sure. I mean, that, yeah, what that's that's the trade-off, right? Is like if you go all in wow, on this, really then you're dedicating yourself in a desktop um, so environment to Suzanne, apps, mobile apps, to mobile uh, apps. You know and is, does that work for you? That, that's going to work for some people. It's not going to work for others. Well, you know, it's interesting because Apple's actually helping them here by pushing people to iOS. Perfect. Adobe, for instance, is adopting, uh, uh, updating uh, mobile Lightroom to have most of the capabilities of desktop Lightroom because of Apple, because of the iPad. And uh, Samsung Good. gets some of the benefit that. here. Suzanne, how does that look? Awesome. Thanks so much for your help. Awesome. Thanks, Suzanne. We'll chat with you later. Because yeah. you're right backstage. <laughs> now do you see why I love using Dex all the time? Super simple, super all easy. All the time.